In this video, I want to show you how to reduce the number of layers in an SVG file. And I'm also going to show you how to um, fix SVG files for better cutting. I've seen in the Facebook groups that people are purchasing SVG files off of Etsy and they're coming into Design Space in 100 different pieces. So they would like to have all of the same color on the same layer rather than to have one color on 20 different layers. And I'm also going to show you uh, something about a trace at the end of the video. So what I have here is an Arkansas Razorback head. If I have it selected, it tells me I have a group of four objects, but I only have three colors. So let's ungroup it and let's ungroup it until it says no groups down here. That way I know everything's ungrouped and let's deselect it. You can click on your canvas somewhere uh, or hit de deselect up here. Um, okay, I have a black back layer. I have a white layer. I have a red layer and I have another black layer, which is unnecessary. I don't need this layer and I'll show you why. Let me control Z to undo everything and get everything back where it should be. If I had cutouts of this black into the red, then this black back layer would show through. So let's do that. Let's select this layer that we don't need, hold the shift key, select the red and do path difference. Now that black layer is gone and it's cut out of the red. So when you layer it, you can still see the black, okay? Then when you select everything, you have three objects, three colors, the way it should be. Group everything. Uh, you can use Control G, object group. I like to use this button up here. Um, resize it and it will cut as three layers in your cutting program that uses SVG files. So let's take a look at this one. 13 objects and I have one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Should have, so let's ungroup it. And let's ungroup it till it says no groups and deselect. So I have a brown layer, I have a teal layer, a yellow layer, a blue layer. Whoops, let me zoom in here. I actually have one, two, three, four, five blue layers. For cutting purposes, I would just assume this be one. You can um, have this one and then you can group these together and have two separate colors but with such a small area i'm gonna uh control z to get everything back where it goes for such a small area i'm gonna have it all one color it's just gonna be easier to layer for me so i'm gonna select it all and go to path union you can do path combine but i don't know how these files were made and sometimes when you do path combine um it will do funky things so okay i have the whites of the eyes and they're separate and also the mouth is separate so i'm going to hold the shift key i have the mouth selected hold the shift key select the white eye and the other white eye and go to path union and i'm going to turn that a little bit darker color just so i can see it better on the canvas now i want a solid black layer obviously this is not even solid because this eye is separate and i don't know what else is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select it all and i'm going to go to path break apart path union now i have a solid black layer to layer all my colors onto i'm going to move this out of the way because i don't know what else was separate from that black layer and it appears it was only the eye so now i can layer this back the way that it should be 
and whoops, wrong one. Select it all, and I should now have six objects because I have six colors. I'm going to group it all. I'm going to resize it and move on to the next one. Now, this one, if as you see, this one, the bounding box is touching on the furthest point of each image, okay? This one, sorry for all the scrolling. Hope you don't get dizzy. This one is not. So something's going on here. Um, but let's ungroup it and see what we got. First of all, it says a group of four. And we only have three colors. So whatever this is, is probably most likely our extra object. So let's ungroup it. Ungroup it until we don't have any more groups. And now I have 14 objects. Keep going. Now I have no groups. I'm going to deselect and I'm going to select my black layer, pull that off, and that looks good. I'll select my gray one, that one looks okay, and my white one is in a bunch of pieces. So I'm going to draw a box around that, and I'm going from this corner up because I don't know what's over here. I don't want to select that because remember that our bounding box was not up against here or here. So I don't want to go too far down, but I want to go far enough to get everything and select it that way and then go path union. And now I have my three layers. They're not lined up very well, but you can do that once you get it into design space or whichever program you use. Now I'm going to select it and group it. And now I have a group of three, which is what I should have because I only have three colors. So I'm going to bring this over here. I'll click off of it, click on it again. And as you can see, that my bounding box is touching all of the furthest points of the image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box around this area here and it selected something tiny little black piece i don't know what that's for it doesn't seem to be missing i'm going to delete it if i look at this image here it doesn't look like i'm really missing anything so that's why the bounding box was way outside of the edge okay um now, one more thing I want to show you is I had someone contact me. They were trying to get the white out of this image, and they couldn't do it. They were tracing it, and it wasn't coming out right. So let me duplicate this. And let's go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and... This is how it will come in. These will be checked, that will be unchecked. So they were leaving this the same, unchecking these two, and checking remove background and clicking update. And this is what they were getting. That's not what they wanted. Um, they want just the white part. So let's select all those and delete it. And let's try it again. Path, trace bitmap. Uncheck smooth, uncheck stack scans, check remove background, and also check invert image with your threshold at 450 and click update. And that's what they want. They want that image with no background. Click OK, and there it is. And you can change it, color, you can cut it whatever color that you would like. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I hope that you can now fix any SVGs that you get that may be problematic or you notice that it has 10 layers and only four colors that you can fix them. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment and um, join me in my next video. Thanks for watching.